Welcome to another episode of Ilticon TV, live from Orlando, Florida for Ilticon 2023. Jake, welcome. I'm so happy to be here. I'm incredibly excited to sit down with you. We haven't before, but I think it might be because you guys have been a little busy. Um, there hasn't been anything in the news about this, so just tell me what's you know what's been going on. <laughs> well, um, uh, we recently just finished uh, being acquired by Thomson Reuters, and so as of Thursday, so as of a couple of days yeah. ago, we are now officially part of the Thomson Reuters family. Well, congratulations. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we, are, we are very excited. We are very excited. I can imagine that it was a long process, but a process that came very much so from having such an amazing product. Talk to me like I don't know anything about Case Dex. Who are you guys? Give me your 30 second elevator pitch. Sure. So we make a product called CoCounsel, okay. and CoCounsel is what we'd call an AI legal assistant, mm -hmm. which means that attorneys can delegate to, the, to, to this assistant substantive and difficult work like doing legal research for for the attorney or reviewing documents or okay. editing contracts and this ai assistant will um, do a, about as good a job if not better than most uh, folks you work with mm -hmm. but do it at superhuman speeds because it's operating with technology instead of just with people sure i like that you said about as good as a, a normal person thank you for bringing that to to my level but that seems like something that's right on the cutting edge of everything that we're talking about how does that all fit together with generative AI? So we, we heavily use uh, some of these new technologies, including and especially GPT-4. We were very lucky as a company to get early access to GPT-4 about a year ago. Okay. And uh, so this is before ChatGPT, yeah. before it's kind of in the public eye, and have been developing even before that for the last five years, uh, you know, sometimes building our own large language models. Okay. Uh, and, and we, see this amazing opportunity to apply what is, we would argue is you know, postgraduate level intelligence sure. that machines can finally do for the first time to legal work. How do you think that's gonna change the industry? It's, it's pretty innovative already out there. What are the next steps? We think it's gonna be a pretty major shift. Uh, it won't happen overnight. Yeah because nothing in law ever does. <laughs> Legal uh, likes to be second, law firms like to come in second, the first ones can make the errors, I yes, get it. Okay. Yeah, totally. Uh, but we think over time, what, uh, you know, maybe over the next five years or so, every single legal professional will have an AI assistant. Okay. And they will be able to start doing less of the work that is a lawyer, you ask yourself, why did I go to law school to do this? Yes. And much more of the work that that their clients want them to do and that they want to do. More strategic work, more persuasive work, the things that only we as humans can do, offloading some of the rote tasks like reviewing millions of documents sure. or doing basic research to machines. So you're not inviting people to not have jobs or roles, you're just making the roles and jobs a little bit easier. What we've seen in practice since launching CoCounsel is uh, the lawyers who, who've brought it on say, things not like I can reduce my staff or you know now I can finally work less. They're saying, I can triple my caseload. I can take on more clients. I can serve clients better. Um, and we're seeing across the board, including with, for example, uh, large nonprofits like the California Innocence Project, that for the first time, they have uh, the ability to extend their human workforce and review way more cases and take on way more clients uh, who, in their case, may be in jail, though innocent. Right, so, so we really are seeing this enormous positive impact on clients without a corresponding negative impact on the business of law. That's awesome. I think that that may just shift the way the conversations about AI are going then. It's not so much the take, it's the give. Yeah, we really think so. And I think really that's the history of technology where <laughs> something really cool and amazing comes out. People get really worried, what does this do to the status quo? Because it's, it's hard to imagine what that new world looks like. We're, you know, uh, most folks, myself included, sometimes can't see around the bend. And you know what you know today and not what might happen tomorrow. But in almost every case of technology, that what happens next is better than anything we imagined and different than what we imagined. And I think that's going to happen here with AI too. I think it's a, it's a progressive journey. This isn't the final stop for anybody or anything. But let's just shift a little bit for a second. You guys are at booth 420. That's right. 
you have a, it's a great double booth. You guys have a great way to go in. But if someone were a member, one of our member firms were to come over, what would your ideal question be for their very first one? What would you like to help them problem solve with first? That's a good question. Uh, I think there are a few things. The first is we love to engage in conversations about what the future looks like for this AI technology, not unlike the one the conversation you and I just had. And uh, it literally says in the back of our shirts, uh, ask us about the future. You know? awesome. And so we love to engage in conversations about what's going to happen next and how is this technology, how might this technology uh, you know, change the way we practice law for the better. And I think you know, a more practical question might be, you know, and we're getting this question a lot, I've heard so much about generative AI, yeah. there seems like a lot of excitement, what exactly can it do for me today? And that's something that we are very, very ready to have that conversation about. Well, I'm very much looking forward to the future. Um, and I do like that we can ask you anything. Jake, it's <laughs> been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We will see you at Ilticon 2024. That's right. That's right.